A fire broke out in a multi-story building in Johannesburg, South Africa, in the early hours of Thursday morning, killing at least 73 people and injuring 52 others. The fire started in a building in the central business district that was being used as an informal settlement by homeless people. Many of the victims were trapped inside and died from smoke inhalation or burns. Witnesses reported hearing people screaming for help and shouting, we're dying in here. Some of the victims tried to escape by jumping from windows, but many fell to their deaths. The fire was brought under control by firefighters, but the building was completely destroyed. The cause of the fire is not yet known, but it is believed that it may have been started by a candle or other open flame. The death toll is expected to rise as rescue workers continue to search the rubble for survivors. The South African government has declared a state of disaster in the area. This is the second fire in South Africa in recent days to claim the lives of young children. On Saturday night, five children died in a fire that engulfed their home near the capital Pretoria. The children, aged between one and eight, were siblings and cousins whose mothers had gone out drinking and left them alone. The fires have highlighted the housing crisis in South Africa, where millions of people live in informal settlements. The government has promised to provide more affordable housing, but it is a problem that will take years to solve. In the meantime, the families of the victims of these fires are left to mourn their loved ones and try to rebuild their lives. On 6 floor, the fatalities which uh, were recovered uh, on the incident, and then 43 uh, people have been uh, injured, treated on scene for uh, smoke inhalation and then moderate injuries. So those people are just... Uh, you know, moderately injured, uh, the, most of them, they might be uh, relieved from uh, hospitals. So we are moving up towards the building. As I said earlier, we will be moving floor by floor to make sure that we clear all the floors. And then from there, uh, as soon as that we are done, we'll hand over the scene to South African Police Service to continue their work. Yeah, the, the, uh, actually, the, the building itself, uh, what we need to uh, highlight to our viewers at home is that they must just have a picture of an informal settlement inside the building. So therefore, the, the chances of one being trapped inside that building is they are very much higher because of you know the partitions and all these things which they, they are using to uh, create those structures. Hence, you find out that there's a lot. Hence, we want to make sure that we we are sure that there's no you know any other bodies which are still trapped in that area.